Hi everybody, it's Renee from the Burly Owl Lady. Just checking in. I'm, I have been busy listing. Uh, we have been busy picking. Uh, and time seemed to have gotten away from us a little bit. Uh, our HBA sales have still been very slow. I know that we all listen to the same person. I've been talking with a few fellow resellers about this person and unfortunately uh, we believe well, my opinion is this person started uh, with the HBA during the pandemic when especially our state we're in New York State uh, in a rural community uh, we had shortages we could not get rubbing alcohol we couldn't get sanitizer anything like that uh, we had uh, empty shelves in our stores we couldn't even go to a store some of them weren't even open i so we think that i think that she started with the hba at the time of the pandemic and she's basing her opinion on how much sales she did during that time now that we're not in a pandemic well we're not in a pandemic <laughs> but uh I think that things have changed and the competition, you, the stores are, everybody's going to the store again, the stocks are more full again, and I think your competition is uh, a lot stronger now than it was. I, we have run volume pricing, we have run best offer, we have uh, right now I'm running an Ole sale for a month. Uh, I know she said she only runs sales for five days but I gotta tell you I don't see any increase in sales with the running the markdown sales I just don't so I I run them anyhow just in case but I really don't see an increase I it, my figures show it and there's no increase in sales with a markdown sale uh, the volume pricing I have noticed a couple of items that uh, people did buy per the volume pricing, like in the lipstick. I've noticed that, but otherwise, I, they, mm -mm, it depends upon how much other people's prices are. And, you know, we're top rated sellers, so we appear at the top of the page, but other top rated sellers do too. I, the top rated seller with the returns, I, we are okay. We've only had two returns and it hasn't even been HBA. I, so I think that's not even a factor. Uh, I stopped watching the resellers on YouTube. I couldn't take it anymore because I'm not sure I'm being told the truth. And it's kind of hard for you to be watching this video thinking I'm telling the truth too because you really don't know me. I, but And I don't know them. Uh, and so on basis basically basing my information that I got started with upon what they're telling me and I'm not sure I was told correctly I I don't think I was uh, my sales are my proof uh, we are selling stuff uh, it's not a lot that we're selling like some of them are selling 50 packages 40 packages a day what I no, and I'm over a thousand listings. I have like 1,100 listings, and I'm over thirty thousand dollars in money value. And I noticed I'm keeping track to see how many sales we do a day and how much average it is. We average between twenty-five and thirty bucks in sales a day, no matter how many sales. That's what we average in. I was for a month very consistent. I did five listings. I made sure they were well over $100. I, no difference. I then bumped the money value up to $200. No difference. So I think the amount of sellers that you have, uh, the way the nobody knows what the algorithm does, but I noticed that I do get help from eBay when I've been consistent all these months, almost a year, 
on eBay. I do get a lot of messages from eBay that you might want to do this, you might want to do that. I've been changing photos, I've been ending listings and relisting. I we have been uh, running, as I said, uh, drop the prices, um, the shipping was a problem at first because we weren't used to the shipping. So I've been redoing the shipping on items, trying to find different ways. We've been investing in new boxes or uh, we went to air bubbles, things like that. We got away from paper. Like one reseller when we started said, you need packing paper. Well, no, you don't need packing paper. That's the least thing that you want to do because it weighs too much. Uh, so now I'm getting into single wall boxes and things like that. Priority mailboxes from the post office, yeah, you can use them, but they're very thin. And if you have glass like I ship glass, you can't necessarily use the priority mailboxes. And then it becomes a problem with international mail. I, I, I don't feel safe in taking a piece of Murano glass and putting it in a flimsy priority mailbox. So basically I use, I buy my own boxes. I save boxes when I get shipments. Um, I've been trying to up my feedback by buying from other eBayers, I, things like that. I've been doing everything you're supposed to do. Now where's my sales? Where's the where's the 30 items sold out? And I only had, oh, and I love it when they say, oh, I only had 10 today. And I'm like, really? Come on, come on. So, and you know what? One reseller said, I told my friend if he sells five items a day, his sales would increase. And that friend had over 900 listings. They're full of crap. I tried that. That doesn't work neither. So, um, and I compare my prices with sold comps. I do all the things. So, help. If anybody knows of anything that I should be doing differently or has any ideas. I had one person, I forget what they say to me. They said to me, you need to, you need to, um, run a sale or something. I said, I run sales all the time. That's why I got the seller's manager thing when I first started. So, uh, anybody that has, now I'm not, I don't want to sound like I'm disappointed in how much we've been doing so far. I'm not disappointed in it because we do sell things every day now. We do. Before, we wouldn't sell stuff for days at a time, but we are selling every day now. Now, does that increase after a certain amount of time? I don't know, but uh, we're coming to a year in July, so we'll see. I you know, eBay told me that they changed the, the algorithm is going towards more of sellers who are on there every day who are really trying. So I hope that's true. I, as I said, they've been very supportive and, and, uh, they send me things. If, uh, I have photos, they send me a message. I've been changing everything. I, so I don't know, but if you have any suggestions for me, take a look at our store. It's the Burly Owl Lady. Uh, and see if there's anything that you see that I'm not doing. I really, I really uh, would appreciate it. Okay, so we'll talk to you next time. Thanks for watching. Hoo hoo.